I don't I have no idea. My, my mom used to say, why do you always hold your hand like a rabbit? Cold Rain have been winning fans across the globe for a decade. The metalcore band formed in Nagoya, Japan in 2007, with one of their first singles becoming the theme song to popular anime series Hajime no Ippo. The group continues to go from strength to strength and are showing no signs of slowing down. We, we, we always had that thought in our minds while we were playing in different bands that it would be cool to form one band and we were like, this is like the dream team of our city type vibe, but it was really hard because once you get together, it's a whole different, um, it's a whole different concept of being in a band together than just imagining it. And it, it was really hard, but we were like, the first, first time we ever started making music, we were like, this isn't gonna work. I don't think, I don't think we're the dream, we're the dream team, but it, I mean, we, we figured it out. Um, it gradually formed into Cold Rain, and it's, it's been ever since, and we've, we've came this far without um, any member changes, and it's been eight years, so. People just started growing that were following us, and then we met we met a guy that um, did A and R for a lot of bands that we loved in Japan that were doing something in the scene. Um, the only people that were actually doing heavy music in Japan, and it was like it, it was it was like fate a little. Like we we met him, and he was like we were he he was the only guy that we would have ever worked with that was from a major label in Japan, and we met him early on. Um, way too early, if you ask, um, if you ask me now. But it, it was like fate, and we met him, and it just went on from there. And I don't think it was in our minds like exactly how it would be to be professional like musician. But um, you start to realize after a while that there are fans there, there is a business there, and. Um, we do it for the fun and we get to live off of it. So it's like a dream come true, I guess. Yeah. I think we kept, we kept on it um, and we, I think the key thing we did that was different from a lot of um, people in the same scene was we, we decided that we, we should play with all sorts of bands in Japan because it's such a, because Japan's like music, music industry wise, it's in the middle of the world, I think. I mean. We get so much music from all over the place, and it's it it has its own market. Plus, it has such a wide audience that um, so many people listen to not like not just metal. It's like people that listen to metal still listen to pop, and they still listen to dance music, and it and it it's just a big mixture. So we decided that we we should play with a lot of bands that wouldn't really fit with us. Um, so when we started out, people were like, this band's screaming. They're like screaming. Like there's a whole song of screaming. And, but like after a while, people got used to it and people realized that it's a sort of music that is really cool. And people got the, I think they connected with the energy that was there in the live show. And we just kept on doing it, started playing festivals and kept on releasing records. And it took a while, but once, once you get, once you get that crowd that's about 500 people, I mean, those 500 people could bring a, another two friends and that becomes 1,500 and it just grows like that. And it was cool to see that happen and cool to see how um, heavy music evolved as a scene in Japan, so. back home like if I'm walking in the city there's people that come up to me and say that they love my band and I'm like I never imagined that in my whole life that happening um, but it's it's crazy to think that that's all I do like music is all I all I do and um, I just there's moments that I just sit at home and I'm like 
my day, my day off is being able to sit at home and my job is playing a show. It's just, it's just really crazy. I mean, um, my homework is writing new music. I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. I try not to think about it because I probably start hating the move I make, but a lot of people say I have like a hand, hand motion. When, when I sing the high notes, my hand goes out. I don't I have no idea. My, my mom used to say, why do you always hold your hand like a rabbit? Like one of my hands, I guess, like kind of like sits there lazy. I, I have no idea. When I'm, when I'm singing, I mean, I, I don't have any control over what I actually look like, so. I don't know, a lot of the guys have kick moves and stick moves and I don't know, but I, I just try to get, get past every day um, singing right and in key, <laughs> but having a good time. It's, it's, it, it's, it's cool because I, I, um, I just love singing, so to be able to connect with people in the audience with those, um, with those melodies means a lot to me. Remember to subscribe for celebrity interviews at Dukascopy Stars. Click here for the newest trends in Dukascopy fashion. Click here for brand new hit music weekly. Got a question that needs to be answered? Try Dukascopy 911.